Maui is one of the Hawaiian Islands, the 50th state of the USA. Located in the Pacific Ocean, Maui has an area of almost 730 square miles, nearly 1,900 square kilometers, with a population just short of 150,000. Its largest town, Kahului accounts for about 20% of that, although Wuluku is the seat of government. Direct flights, especially from the western side of North America, make Maui easy to reach. Where to stay on Maui may depend upon the main things you want to do on your holiday. Some parts of the island have more tourist development than others. Indeed some parts are more accessible than others. Car rental is inexpensive and is advisable if you choose one of the more remote parts of the island where bus services are infrequent. There are good shuttle services around Maui, but they do not permit luggage, so you can forget them for arrival and departure. Maui is home to many of the top international hotel brands. The first two places that many visitors look to are in West Maui and South Maui. The former was the first part of Maui to develop for tourism back in the 1960s. Kahui Airport to the town of Lahaina takes up to 40 minutes for the 25-mile drive. The South Maui followed on with Kahui Airport just 10 miles away. Travel is not as quick on Maui as you would expect at home, however. It would be wrong to dismiss other parts of Maui, and if you read on, you should get some ideas why that is the case. In this video, I'm going to walk you through Maui on a virtual tour, pointing out interesting features and landmarks, and telling you about all of the characteristics of some of the city's most inviting and fascinating areas. I'll start with Kapalua, West Maui. This development on former plantation land is purely to attract tourism. Kapalua is on the northwest coast of Maui along the Honopailani Highway extending from Kapalua and Hanolua Bays. It is fairly small, covering just under 5 square miles with an additional small section of water. The resort has plenty of accommodation, good restaurants, shopping, and golf courses. Golf became a popular tourist attraction in Hawaii some years ago. The beaches are also something that ensures tourists will always consider Hawaii for a relaxing holiday and Kapalua has plenty. Kapalua Bay received the honor, best beach in the world from One Travel Magazine, and best beach in America on our listings. This small town, Karnapali, West Maui developed as a resort in the 1960s with a mile-long beach of the same name as its major attraction. It is on the west coast of Maui just north of Lahaina, and less than 15 minutes by road south of Kapalua. It is more crowded than Kapalua, but has more in the way of activities, useful if you have kids with you. Lahaina is the largest town in West Maui with boundaries stretching along the coast, to include Kapalua and Karnapali resorts. The resident population is just over 11,500, but it regularly numbers approaching four times, that during the high season. This stretch of coastline on the northwest coast of Maui, Kahana, and Napili are known for a number of things. One of the most interesting is the chance to see humpback whales offshore, but the best chance is during the winter. Kahana is a lovely setting close to Napili Bay that is almost at the northern tip of this part of Maui. Lanai and Molokai Islands are in the distance as you look out to sea. The coral reef is worth exploring if you enjoy snorkeling. The further out you swim, the clearer the water. You should keep your eyes open for marine species like crass, moorish idol, and even turtles. Kihei is on the leeward side of Halakala. This is still the western side of Maui, but further south than places like Lahaina. Lahaina is in fact not much more than 20 miles to the north, but the coast road is slow. It receives little rainfall, only about 10 inches annually, so its climate is regarded as arid. There is no public bus service to the southern part of Maui. However, Maralia Harbour Village is not far away, and public transport is available there. Wiley's development in the 1970s was to take advantage of the opportunity that tourism was increasingly providing. Before that, Wailea was just a small fishing village, lying just over six miles south of Kihei. The resort covers 1,500 acres with this location selected, because the leeward side of the south coast is the sunniest part of Maui. At one time, Wiluku was the main resort on Maui, but in recent times, new resorts have taken over. It remains the county seat of Maui with a population of around 15,000. Few have any involvement in tourism anymore, but there are several employers in administrative and service industries. Wiluku is at the mouth of the Yao Valley just to the west of Kahuyui, and below the West Maui volcano. It faces northeast despite still being in the western half of Maui. Wiluku is 22 miles by road due east of Lahaina, but half of that distance is the crows fly. Makawao is the hub of upcountry, the region of Maui which is largely agricultural and certainly rural. Its population is around 7,000 with far fewer as a proportion involved in tourism as elsewhere. The town is over 1,500 feet above sea level, and hence altitude moderates the climate. There is limited accommodation in Makawao if you want to make this your base. 
You are not totally remote with the airport just 12 miles away. You can reach the beach on the west coast by bus in an hour, or perhaps enjoy a day in Kahului as an alternative. Kahului with its international airport, deep harbour, shopping, and industrial districts is the main conurbation on Maui. The climate is semi-arid and hot, with Kahului sheltered from the prevailing trade winds. Kahului faces north across the bay of the same name. Today's town has a limited history. The plague wiped out the population in 1900 so, what you see now is a development funded by the sugar company. The Alexander and Baldwin Sugar Museum tells the story of the sugar plantations on Maui and the influence they had on the life of the locals. Kula is a district on the western facing slopes of Halakaua, with most of the buildings at 1,500 feet and above. It is due south of Paya, the 12 mile trip easily done in under half an hour. The altitude ensures that residents avoid the hotter weather found at sea level and the tourist crowds who prefer the beach. Paya is one of the places on Hana Highway, East Maui, just after you leave Kahului. The highway runs along Maui's beautiful northern coastline. There are less than 3,000 inhabitants in Paya, but you will find a decent tourist infrastructure including surf shops, art galleries, and restaurants. The restaurants of Paya are well known throughout Maui, while there is a natural food store that has few equals. The shops are interesting, so all in all, Paya has much to recommend it. Many of the buildings come in pastel colors. In some ways, it is like going back in time to a 60s small resort town. While Hana is fairly isolated on East Maui, there is a highway running there, if this is a place you want to make your Maui base. It is a winding road just over 50 miles long, hence Hana's remoteness, starting at Kahui and hugging the northern coastline to the extreme east of Maui. The highway was gravel initially, and its opening in the 1920s helped the sugar plantations. However, the last one closed two decades later. An alternative way to reach Hana is by boat, or even light aircraft. The beautiful setting of Maui and its natural environment helps visitors forget a relatively long journey. Hawaii is an exotic location. Maui is the second largest of its islands and tourism is the major source of income. As a state of the USA, it is no surprise that Americans make up the majority of tourist visitors to Maui. There are plenty of direct flights, especially from the western side of North America. The season is long because of the latitude of Hawaii and generally good weather. Some visitors come for the beaches, while others combine them with a good choice in water sports. Golf holidays are popular as well. Even though Maui is relatively small, it still appeals to tourists wanting to enjoy the natural environment inland. With luxury hotels for those who want them, Maui is a great place for a holiday.